Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to create a virtual machine template in Hyper-V. A VM template in Hyper-V is a pre-configured virtual machine image that contains a predefined set of settings, configurations, and software that can be used to quickly create multiple virtual machines with similar configurations. Using templates can save time and ensure consistency when deploying VMs in Hyper-V environments. We can configure Hyper-V templates with pre-installed applications and Windows features similar to how a WDS or PXC image ensures a consistent configuration for each deployment. The easiest way to create a VM template is by cloning your existing VM in Hyper-V. Run the sysprep utility, a Microsoft tool designed to prepare a Windows installation for cloning or duplication. Simply power up the VM, copy its virtual hard disk and store it in a safe location. With this manual copy of the VHDX, we will be able to create a new Hyper-V VM at any time and attach the previously saved virtual hard disk to it. Let's go over the steps you need to follow to create a VM template using Hyper-V Manager. Step 1. Create a reference VM. Install Guest Operating System, enable rules and features and then apply the needed Windows security patches and hotfixes. On this VM, I have installed Windows Server 2025 and it is fully up to date. I have enabled RDP and changed the time zone to UTC plus 530. Ensure that all the tools and applications you frequently use are installed on your Windows Server. We installed Google Chrome and WinRAR and in the end, we will check if these apps are available after running sysprep and deploying the new VM. Step 2. Run sysprep. Although the utility offers more functions, we will focus on the generalized option as it clears the Windows event logs, network settings, Windows media player settings, licensing information and resets the security ID. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. Type the command cd c slash windows slash system32 slash sysprep and press enter. Type the command sysprep.exe slash ubi slash generalize slash shutdown slash mode colon vm slash ubi to restart the computer into ubi mode. Slash generalize switch to prepare the Windows installation to be imaged. Slash shutdown switch used to shut down the computer after the sysprep commands finish running. The slash mode colon vm switch should only be used to create reference images for virtual environments such as Hyper-V. Using this option allows the first vm to boot faster because there is no need to detect new hardware as vms of the same generation use the same virtual hardware. Press enter to run the command. The sysper process may take some time to complete. Once the process is complete, the VM will shut down automatically. Please wait for the process to finish. Close the VM connection tool. Go to the settings of your VM. Select none on the DVD drive. Click apply and then OK to save the changes. Also, if you are planning to use this image across different Hyper-V hosts, make sure you also clear your network adapter. Network adapter is not a huge problem, but DVD drive with attached ISO image can be. After going through the settings, you are done. Your VM template is now prepared. Let's move to step 3, export the VM. Once the VM is prepared and shut down, go to Hyper-V manager and export the VM. Right click on the VM and select export. Optionally, you can choose to simply copy and paste the template VHD and rename it each time you create a new VM. Choosing the export option allows for quick cloning of the VM configuration file which can be useful if you plan to set up multiple VMs with the same hardware specifications. Click browse to choose the location where the VM should be exported. Go to the D drive and access the Hyper-V VMs folder. Create a new folder, name it export and then click on select folder. Click export to start the export process. 
Hyper-V will now begin copying the VM's virtual hard disk and configuration files to the destination you selected. You can directly import the VM into another Hyper-V host using the exported VM. I'll create a dedicated video on how to export and import virtual machines in Hyper-V. The export process has been completed successfully. Now right click on WS2K25 VM and select settings. Click on hard drive. Copy the VHD location and click OK to close the VM properties window. Open file explorer. Paste the copied file location in the address bar and press enter. Right click the WS2K25 VHDX file and select copy. Go back to D drive and access the VHDS folder. Create a new folder and name it WS2K25 Golden Image. Access the folder and paste the copied VHDX file. Let's wait for the copying process to complete. Rename the VHDX file to WS2K25 Golden Image .vhdx. Now, when you need to deploy a VM from this template, copy the virtual hard disk to your Hyper-V VM folder. In the final step, we will create a new Windows Server 2025 Hyper-V VM using this Golden Image VHDX file. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. In the Actions selection, select New, then click Virtual Machine. Click Next. Specify the name and location for your new VM. I have given name WS2K25-SRV01. Select this checkbox to store the virtual machine in different location. Click on Browse. Click on this PC. Access F drive and select Hyper-V VMs folder. Click Next to continue. Choose Generation to VM type and click Next. Select the amount of startup memory to be allocated to the new virtual machine. Enable the dynamic memory feature for this VM and click Next. Select a virtual switch to be used for networking. Select the external virtual switch and click Next. Select the option to use an existing virtual hard disk. Click on Browse to specify the path to the existing VHDX file. Click on this PC. Go to the D drive and access the VHDS folder. Open WS2K25 Golden Image folder. Copy the WS2K25 Golden Image .vhdx file. Click on this PC. Go to the F drive and access Hyper-V VMs folder. Create a new folder and name it WS2K25-SRV01. Access the folder and paste the copied VHDX file. The VHD file has been copied successfully. Let's rename the VHDX file to WS2K25-SRV01. Select the WS2K25-SRV01 VHDX file and click Open. Click Next. Review the summary section to ensure everything is correct. Then click Finish to create the VM and close the wizard. The Windows Server 2025 VM using the golden image has been successfully created. Right click on the VM and select Connect. Click on Start button to start the VM. Let's wait for the virtual machine to boot up. Set up your language and keyboard preferences. Click Next to continue. Click on Accept. Set up the built-in administrator account to password. When ready, click Finish. Finally, we have reached the login screen. Click on Action and select Ctrl to delete to unlock the server. Enter the administrator account password we set earlier and press Enter to log into the Windows Server 2025. Select the diagnostic data which you want to send to the Microsoft. I'll select Required only and then click on Accept. Open Run menu, type fvs.cpl and press Enter. We can see that Google Chrome and WinRAR applications are already installed. Go back to Server Manager and click on Local Server. Check the status of Remote Desktop. As you can see, it is enabled. Also check the Time Zone. It says UTC plus 530. This way, we can quickly create a new virtual machine from the VM template image in Hyper-V. That's all for this video on how to create a VM template in Hyper-V and how they can be used for quick VM deployment. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.